With any do-it-yourself project, you've got to make sure you know what you're doing, you have the right tools, and that you plan ahead. To figure out the rest, make sure you talk to the professionals. Hello, welcome to our job site. I am Just Ask Bob. Today we're talking about outdoor improvements and renovations or repairs. Now, as I tell homeowners year after year for the last nine years, don't wait till November, December to start bugging the contractors to come on down and do your exterior work, or even if you're doing it yourself. Some items on the outside of your home are tef temperature sensitive, obviously for your body, for the cold, caulking, um, mortar, compounds, different things and certain things cannot be done 12 months out of the year. Now, as I tell people once again every year, April, May and June, not only the quotes that I submit to homeowners, but any professional that you call for a quote, all of a sudden, first week of November, everybody wants it done yesterday. So you have to be careful. Today we're talking about fences, post, uh, post covers, not essentially a big issue with the weather, but in in this case, we've got a small section of fence. We've got the four by four here, and it doesn't have a post cover on it. You can tell it's been weathering a little bit. Now, really important, um, these flat surfaces, the rain and the snow will slide off. But as far as the flat spot on the top, you don't want the snow sitting there. You don't even want the rain, kill, the rain sitting there. The rain, the snow, that's what damages everything on the outside of your home. So in this case, we have a simple, basic, inexpensive black cap. It's made out of plastic. It has the holes already made in it to receive the screws. Now, this is a pressure-treated fence, so this will work out fine. They do sell them in cedar, in case you have a cedar fence, or they even have them with a nice copper top. They're very easy to use. Less than $10, it's going to protect the top of your fence. Now, let's set it in place first. They're designed for a 4x4, four four, so it's not bad. Wiggles on nicely. Now, as far as the hardware, I'm very particular about hardware. Typically, anything you buy will come with a Phillips head screw, and most often, it's the cheapest screw you can buy. It's going to rust. I like to use stainless steel, and I like to use the good old Robertson head invented by Canadians. So most products that you buy, if it's cheap hardware, throw it away, use your own hardware. Now, we don't even need to drill for this one. Want to position it, get the other screw put away. Tighten it. Same thing on the other side. This will last forever. You'll be taken care of. I am Just Ask Bob. Don't forget to visit, visit our website, www.justaskbob.com. Again, that's www.justaskbob.com or give us a simple phone call, 289-649-0196. Thank you, Hamilton.